Now then, Marley. <clears throat> it seems that uh, Diane Abbott has been flapping her gums again. You won't know who that is, and there's no reason why you should. She's... Um, just to give a little pot in history, she's a show business politician. She's more well known for um, espousing her racist views on the BBC than. Uh, stop it, Marley. Than for anything she ever achieved in a political sense. Um, the BBC keep tolerating her, nay, encouraging her, I think it's fair to say. Uh, I suppose she makes good television, that's all I can think of. Um, but in any case, uh, according to Twitter, I, I don't know what she's actually done, but uh, going by Twitter, which is the best place to source your news these days, I find, she has been um, accusing taxi drivers of being racist again. Now, I, I probably shouldn't laugh. I was a taxi driver myself for 15 years. Uh, you know, I should be offended, but I, I can't find it in myself to be offended by what she does because... Um, uh, she's an object of pity, really. She obviously didn't get the memo that went round the BBC that explained that uh, the Alf Garnet character in Till Death Us Do Part was just that. It was a character, Diane Love. I don't think the actor who played him, whose name escapes me for the time being, um, I don't think he probably held the same <laughs> beliefs as Alf Garnet used to come across uh, with Alf Garnet was the butt of every joke in Till Death Us Do Part and quite rightly so because he was a balmy racist um, you obviously didn't get that memo Diane uh, somebody please somebody in the BBC explain that to her she's making a mug of herself there was a very intelligent man way back in, in time called uh, Haile Selassie that wasn't actually his name it was an honorific his birth name uh, was Tafari something or other uh, look it up if, if it bothers you um, and the Tafari part became co-opted into the name of the Rastafarianism the um, political uh, ideology and he made a speech to the UN a long long time ago and the speech was paraphrased in a song by uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers amongst others the most famous version was by Bob Marley uh, the song was called War, and he paraphrased the speech, or part of the speech, thus, until the colour of a man's skin is of no more significance than the colour of his eyes, there will be war. Now, if you were to switch in uh, religious ideology for the colour of a man's skin, um, then that holds true to this day, given what's going on all around the world in the name uh, of, of religion stroke political ideology um, but uh, I, I think Diane I'm sure you know she's familiar with the song uh, um, she ought really to listen to it rather than perhaps just dancing doing a bit of mum dancing to it at family gatherings she ought really to listen to it and consider her position which is um, it's surely far more ridiculous to attribute certain characteristics to a person based on the job he does. I, you know, I'm going to leave out concentration camp guards. I think it's safe to say that they're dodgy people um, and should, you know, got what was coming to them and rightly so. But um, to, to write off a group as disparate as taxi drivers as being racist... Um, just have a word with yourself, Diane. You know, it, it's, it's, it really is getting beyond the joke now. You need to sort yourself out, love. That's all I'm saying. Vote you, Kip. <laughs>